I'm Sam and today I will be the hairdresser attending to your beautiful hair. Shh, shh, shh. First though, I would like to get you sat down and do a little bit of a hair analysis on you. I really want to figure out the texture of your hair, how it feels between the fingers and the goals for today's colouring. I know you want a cut and colour today, cut and colour, and a wash, so quite a lot of work. We need to make sure it's perfect. So looking at my charts, I would argue that currently you have medium brown hair, and you have quite long hair. Very long actually. It's gonna take a while. Not not a problem. So long length. And what about a fringe? I notice right now your front pieces are almost as long as the length. Would you like to put a fringe in? Yeah. So you'd like bangs, curtain bangs. I really love curtain bangs, but they are quite hard to manage. The growth is fast and you've got to be on it really. Okay, and let's now talk about what you want to achieve in today's colour session. I gather that you want to lighten. Okay, so you're aiming to get to a medium blonde. And you're quite accepting of the fact that we might not be able to do that in one sitting. Yeah, we may need to come back and do another sitting since your hair is quite dark. Okay. Well, as long as you understand that, I would argue that today we should do some highlights in foils. And I think if we really brighten up the front, you'll see and feel like at the very, the very least a dark blonde so yeah if in a month's time you're liking the blonde root still we can probably get you to a medium it's best not to rush these life altering decisions okay all right now let me just feel the consistency of the hair am i okay to have a good feel. Yeah, thank you. Okay, starting with this side. Just pull it through my fingers. So it's quite well kept. You look after your hair. And what products do you use currently? So do you use anything to oil the scalp? I know rosemary oil is very popular at the moment. Yeah. Just move around the back and have a look. Hmm. I think you do need a little bit of a scalp scrub. Maybe a nourishing oil. You just encourage moisture. Have you ever used a scalp massager? Yeah, those tools that you can get. No? Okay. That's probably something we're going to work on. Okay. Quite happy with the condition of your hair. It's actually amazing. Most people come in here with hair that's quite bright, as you can imagine. I myself 
very guilty of that. Okay, so let me just have a feel of these front pieces. Yep, I'm confident we can bleach today. Now let me get a few of the colour options that I think would suit your face shape. I've got a few little examples here. Really go beautifully with your complexion, your eye colour, and yeah, I'm hoping to encourage you to my way of thinking. So here are the shades I've got. Let's start with the darkest, as you're probably not gonna select this one. It's number nine, and it's quite similar to what you are currently. This is just an example of what we're trying to lighten today. Then next we have this one, number three, light, which I would describe as a pale brown and a dark blonde, depending on people's opinion. This is quite like my, maybe it's a bit lighter, a bit my natural. Yeah, this is a beautiful colour, very natural. This colour with some paler blonde highlights running through it would be gorgeous, so natural looking. And then next up we've got number 8 light. So it's just a touch lighter than before, it's quite warm. It's quite warm toned. Mm -hmm. But it's beautiful. And finally we have what I think we're going to aim for today, it's number 16, and this is a medium blonde. It's quite golden, it's quite Serena van der Woodson, if you will. I think this is what we should be aiming for. So, how about I mix this up and get some foils ready and do some lovely highlights. I think we can get some quite good results even quite quickly because your hair's not so dark and it's got quite a warm undertone. It will lighten quite quickly for us. So let me go and mix, mix your colour and I'll be back very very soon okay. So first to mix the colour, we need a base. A base, and I like to use the simple blonde base, which will bring anything out to a medium. I give it a little mix around the bowl, make sure that there's enough product, making an educated guess here. And we do want to add a little bit of a gold tone, a gold sunny summery highlights but to make sure it doesn't come out too orange it's key that we add a toner I specifically picked this toner shade to battle the darkness of your natural hair yeah because it's so medium brown we need quite a good toning effect but here we are let's get started before we go in and start applying it. I am going to need to untangle, untangle, untangle any knots. This is quite a wide toothed comb so it's not going to pull and tug. This is just water and a secret. spritz first all around the back this side good Very good, okay. What 
this down. And just start to gently come around the head here. Like so. It doesn't look very naughty, it looks very, very well taken care of. So I'm not going to stress myself out too much, especially as we have a scalp oiling and condition to go on here. Just swapping the oxalized hair out of the way. Gonna get around the back a little bit, okay? Just come all the way through. No knots at all. And I forgot to mention that this is quite obviously your natural colour. So is this your first ever experience dyeing your hair? You don't need to be worried at all. It's quite daunting isn't it? But actually it's no big deal. It's fun and can always produce good results. Okay, I think we're ready to begin. Are you comfortable? Let me start with a few oils. Are we ready to get started? We have a beautiful colour here. I can't wait to see how the end result is going to look. How about I just clip up, clip up one side of your hair and get started on the underlayer. We're not going to do too many foils today. Usually you can spend several hours putting foils in, but today we're just going to do what I'd call half a head to get you slowly used to the colour, okay? It's a beautiful clip. All the way back. Very good. Now I can start at this side and apply my foils. We have a thinner tooth comb here. That just allows me to grab the perfect amount of hair to fit in a foil. So let me grab a foil and begin. I warn you. You can hear this foil crinkle sound in your ear. Don't be frightened by it. Just leave a little section of hair. Apply it to the foil. Continue to do that all around the head, okay. Next, foil going in. So have you got any nice summer plants? No, I've not got any myself. I have been in Australia. 
Australia from January to March, so that's kind of counted me out of a summer holiday because of pricing and what have you. I'm just going to be moving further around the back so you will hear me but you may not see me. Don't panic though, okay? But yeah, I was wondering if this intense desire to be born was born of any holiday plans. to be born for the summer. see the hair lifting with it being virgin hair it's lifting beautifully it's always pop look whenever we have somebody that dyes their hair very often not that it's anybody's fault causes damage to the hair, do we? Moving around this side now. Yeah, just grab the foam. Just gonna use this end to weave the hair. bottom layer now. We've just got two more to apply around the front here. And we move on to the top layer. I think we've got just enough product. Just stay still. I know it's tempting to move, but I don't want to accidentally put a bleach streak in your hair. Okay. Final foil on this layer. I'm going to move on. Still comfortable? Yeah. I know it's a bit cold if it touches the scalp. It always is because we keep it refrigerated. But not to worry, it doesn't mean anything bad. I'm sure it's developing beautifully. But let's take this clip down now and quickly comb through the top layer and just decide what areas we want to focus on for lightness. I really do think you will benefit from having a lightened front maybe a couple more streaks then around the hair it gives an overall effect of blondness without the damage okay just pop this clip down i'm just back to using this 
we come again to straighten this all out. Okay, look good. Perfect. Let me just run this through my fingers. Perfect. Okay. Let's get the next layer of colour and foils done. Starting with this front piece here, get my foil. It's going to feel quite annoying close to your head. I know, but but I can tell the look is already going to be so beautiful. Yeah, it really complements your skin tone. Your eye colour. Okay. Feels firm. Let's do the exact same on this side so that I don't mess them up. Okay. So just just get rid of her there. section and paint very good that's all firmed up So I'm going to go straight into another one on each side, the front, so it's quite a powerful look, yeah, so, so two here, directly next to each other, and then we'll space the highlights out just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So let me just finish up at this side. Next, let's go to this side, finish up, then I'm just going to weave around, okay? with that. Right, I'll be around the back again. Ignore me, I'm just trying to get you through this quite quickly so I'm not rushing. Feel free to ask me any questions.
just going to open up one of the files, check how it's developing. Mm, I can see that one's already. this edge here for that I think a coffee breaks in store for us uncomfortable. Not a problem. We can just get these pushed out of your face a little bit. I know the crinkle sound can be a little bit much. The crinkle sound. Okay, perfect. Well, let's have a coffee while these develop. It shouldn't be long. And then we'll look at getting you washed and a little bit of a scalp oil and massage. What do you say to that? I think you'll enjoy that process just a little bit more. Here is the salon's very own coffee machine. It's not exactly brand spanking new or state of the art, but it does the job. I really like it and I've got used to it over the years, so I don't really want to get would you like to drink from a mug or would you prefer like a takeout coffee cup? Yeah, you don't fit in as much coffee in this takeout cup, but I completely respect that you might prefer it. Lots of people do. No, no problem. Let's use the mug. It feels more like you're at home with a mug. coffee pods that I've got available today. I've got this cappuccino, cappuccino, which is a foamy headed coffee. And next we've got a latte, which is soft, silky milk. It does have quite a milky taste overall, which I like personally. If you're in the market for something sweet, really delicious. We have a mocha, if you prefer a mix of both perhaps. Completely understandable. And then we have a decaf option. Any one of those choices can be made decaf of course. And if you want a simple espresso, so no milk at all, that can be arranged but it might make you a bit hyper. You want a cappuccino? No problem. Put the coffee head in. Press the cappuccino button. Get the temperature correct. Correct, correct, correct. There we are. All finished. Enjoy your coffee while we do our treatment. But would you like cold milk in there? You want a little bit of sugar? No problem at all. Let me just put a bit in. I like it a little bit sweeter too. Well, perfect. Enjoy your coffee throughout the treatment. I've had this candle burning in the background, sweet bean apples. And it's just so lovely. Have a little smell. No, it's summer. I just love these kind of fruit scents. Although, I already feel scared for summer ending, even though it's just begun. That's why spring is my favourite season. So much to look forward to. 
So it's time for your rinse and shampoo. Shall I just have one more little examine and check that the colour is developed as we'd like? Oh. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, let's try on this side. good they're ready to come out so let me get you over to the sink and you can just lie back and enjoy some massage beautiful shampoo yeah so no objection to jojoba oil you know I don't have a shower head or a hose or anything I just use jugs of hot steaming water to rinse and wash hair this is one I made myself and painted at pottery class do you like it? it's full of hot steaming water so I am gonna just quickly pull all the foils out before I give you a good rinse to so just stay still, stay still. Just spin that, spin that. Yeah, definitely ready to come out. Going from this side. Just pull it out. more here. Just pull that out of the hair. Wow. I can immediately see the complete change. It looks great. I can't wait to see how it looks completely dried. Let me get you rinsed and then we'll start with the shampoo. Switch around the back here. Just watch all that product rinse away. There we go. Now we still have some left on this side, so I'll just do like this. That's all it takes to get the product off, so it's time for a good shampoo right now. I'm going to be using this amazing shampoo by Monday. I picked this up in Australia and brought it home. <sighs> it is lovely and it feels and smells so good. It's kind of just simple. Sometimes with products, the simpler the better. So first I lather that up in my hands before I touch you. And to get that all lathered and pulled. Sometimes people make the mistake of just putting this straight on the head. But you do need to massage it in the hands first to prepare it. Okay, let's start with here. Just get my hair all covered. It's really bubbly now. Huh? 
See the new colour come through here. <laughs> Just check this side. I think it needs a little bit more of a scalp rub. I'm really, really washing your hair because I know how nice it is when you do go to the hairdressers and they do such a good wash. And it lasts all week. Everyone needs that, don't they? Okay. Let's get this slightly rinsed, just so it's not so many bubbles, so then we can put on our oil and do our scalp massage. Just a little bit more. Just grab the oil. Jojoba. Jojoba oil. Jojoba oil. I love this stuff. I bought it in Bali from a shop called Alchemy. Oh, it's so nice. It's like aromatherapy. And the smell. Let me just put this on the scalp. And just round the back here, all of the hair. I'm going to be using my tool to massage this in. Perfect. Let me just put a few drops on my hands and give it a good rub in myself. This does so much to help produce a natural shine. It can be so hard to maintain a shine when you've got blonde hair. Trust me. I'm just gonna really intensely rub that to 
through the scalp. Good. Feel okay? Let me show you the tool. You'll have seen these before. They're just classic massage tools. Just gonna spend maybe four or five minutes rubbing this all around your hair. I might just be, you know, humming in the background. That's just my nature. That is just my nature. So I hope you enjoy this relaxing moment. so I can get really quite nicely at the back and get any dead skin, dead skin cells off. Mm-hmm. 
You look a little bit tired. Don't be tired. Don't let yourself fall asleep. It's not. Let me apply the matching conditioner now and it will then be time for our final rinse. This is the matching conditioner from Monday. Let me get a couple of squirts. With conditioning you do just want to be Kind of rubbing it through the mids and ends. Just to let you know how to take care of things at home. Wow, you can see this colour really coming through. It's beautiful. It's so golden. Okay, that will do nicely. Are you happy for me to start the final rinse? probably need about two jugs to make sure that everything's out. Yeah? Perfect. Get the back of the head. I think that's everything. Let me have a quick check. Hmm. Yeah, that's all the product out of the hair. So I'm gonna sit you back up now, do a comb through. We'll look at cutting the hair, see what kind of thing we want to firm up. You've said curtain bangs. I'm just not sure about the length. I think the length is beautiful. Maybe an inch, maybe two. That's probably all I'd advise. It seems to have clouded over while we were at the wash basin. That's a shame. But UK weather it's unpredictable like that, as we know. I just made myself a quick coffee. Got this from the Puffing Billy Railway in Melbourne, Australia, a few months ago. Mm, it was lovely. It was an amazing thing to sit on the edge of the train and watch the wilderness go by. It was a rainy day. <sighs> Victoria can be very rainy. Not like the sunny Australia that people talk about. Anyway, your hair is all wet. <laughs> Let's brush through and get started on this cut. Then we'll do a blow dry. Is that okay with you? Perfect. The texture still feels pretty good. Just check around the back. The bleach hasn't damaged it too much. You can always tell at this stage if the bleach has kind of ruined the brassity of the hair, but definitely not in this case. Oh, you can see there. It's a lovely lightened blonde. This is probably the lightest area around at the front. It does kind of remain some dark shades at the back. You can see here it's got the dark. You don't need to worry. Gently brush through a few tangles, a few tangles here and there. But 
I'm gonna start with the fringe. This is the main thing we want to mess with today, isn't it? So you definitely want curtain bangs. Are we absolutely certain? Because I promise you, it's a choice you make once and then regret for months. Okay, we'll go with it and do those in Just come in Remove the length Good. Good Okay, let me just I think this is short enough really good. Let me brush that out of the way and match up this side. Sorry, I know it's quite annoying to have the scissors in your face, but it's okay. Just trust me. Okay, that's looking good. Just match that up. Bit of a curve. Okay. Love it. I think that's even. Okay. We'll move on to the length now. I'm quite satisfied with those bangs. Mm hmm. I'd say about this much. Yeah. It's just an inch and a half. I promise I won't go any further than that. Let's start at the front, then I can compare and check it's enough before I go around the head. Do this side now and just compare those two front pieces. We won't go any shorter than this. Let me just carry this on around the rest of the head. Now we are quite happy with the length. It won't take me a couple of minutes to just work my way around. So you just stay still for me. But it wasn't half as scary as you thought it would be, hey?
Your hair thickness is kind of medium, so not the thickest, but also it's not super fine. That might sound a bit <laughs> non-exciting, but it actually means you can do quite a lot with your hair. Yeah, like I have very fine hair, so I wear extensions. And now it's in the place where I don't think I could be without them, which isn't a good thing. Yeah, I'm super reliant on them now to feel confident, and it's not the best feeling in the world, you know? I'd like to think I could just throw my natural hair up, but unfortunately not for me. Just neaten up these bottoms. Little wispy bits. There we go. Okay, that's all of the length done. I can confidently say I'm happy with this cut. It was quite minor. But the effect, including the fringe, is something that can't be ignored. Now let me just put some heat protection spray on the hair and rub that in and then we can get blow drying. Okay, I'll just wave my way around the head. Just rub that in. rubbed in nicely. I'm gonna get the blow dryer on now. And what would you like? Like a sh quite straight hair, quite sleek or more of a soft wave? Okay, just quite sleek, no problem. We can put some nice hair oil in afterwards and make it really shiny.
that you all dry. Now looking in the mirror, how do you feel about the length? Yeah, you're happy with it? Good. Well before you go, do you have one more step and that's to apply some hair oil. I've got my favourite one here, which is the Beauty Works. It's so nice, it's like a watermelon smell. And you've just got this little pipette here. It's kind of a treacle consistency. Let me just get some on my fingers and rub that in. Just work around the rest of the hair. You really want to massage this into the mids and ends of the hair. It's not really an oil. The scalp. We've done our scalp treatment today, haven't we? Okay. That's every little bit oiled up. How are you feeling? It's quite a big change, I know. But these bangs look amazing. They suit you so much and the colour is so bright. It's so summer. You'll learn to love it, I promise. I hope you're not going to be one of those clients coming back in September and asking for it dark again. It's really coming, you know. But just trust me. enjoyed a nice little break at the beauty spa and I'll see you again soon perhaps for a manicure or a facial something like that